Yeah, but make you got a roast press will be in Lakewood. Put the center stores, right? Good. Thursday practice today. Tremendous job of the coaches. I thought there were some great situations today. Short yards, goal line, red zone, winning edge. Things last place at the end of the game. Defense against last place at the end of the game. Uh, how to win the ball game at one second left. I thought it was just tremendous uh, planning by the coaches and the staff. And then our players came out and had a great practice. I thought the energy level was very high. The execution level was very high, so very pleased with uh, today's practice. It looks like Austin Declas and Grant Delpit will be out for the game. Uh, as of right now, they're not planning on playing. Other than that, we should be fine. Any indication of who will uh, play for Delpit if he is in fact out? Yeah, I think, I think, I think Mo Hampton's going to start. We'll let Mo Hampton start, and, and uh, he's been doing very well. And, uh, Coach Bush is very pleased with his progress. We're gonna let him go. He's somebody who kind of hasn't really seen the field there at safety much. So, what has the kind of season been like for him? Well, you know, uh, he's developed. Obviously, he came in. And, uh, there wasn't a lot of room back there, but with the injuries, uh, he's moved up on the charts. He's able to do the things that we expect him to do in safety. Very good athlete. We knew he was going to be a great player. I think it was a matter of his time and learning the system. Good positive, I guess, for you guys to still be able to register him and play him and sure. like that. Sure, as of now, yeah, should be. How, how will your tackle supply uh, out there? Yeah, we're going to play with Bazaar, we're going to play with Andrew, same thing we did last week. We're the same lineup right now as last week. And from seeing that, I mean, you talked about it a little bit this week, just what did you learn about the offense line and the depth wise that they can play? Next man up, put 11 men on the field, fighting like Tigers. I thought Bazaar and Adrian played well. It builds depth on the offensive line. As you know, this time of year, you're going to have injuries. I thought James Craig has done a tremendous job of coaching out on the show. I mean, they're like recognized a little more from yeah. you know, awards yeah. and such, but like, what, what have they done on the field that kind of illustrates that beyond the stickers? Well, I think the uh, leadership, I think uh, protecting Joe, uh, the yards rushing, obviously the big games that we won, the great defensive line that they played and they handled themselves very well. It seems like the wide receivers also take a lot of pride in blocking. I mean, how, how do they kind of showcase that? Well, they coach the block. I mean, they're the manager of uh, Coach Brady and Coach Mickey, but those guys are tough. Uh, they know that uh, wide receivers uh, make uh, great blocks down the field. Uh, we get exposed to explosive blocks. They believe in what we're doing. They believe in Clyde, so they want to be part of it. I guess I would make Ed Ingram back at left guard. How has he developed now over the last few months? Oh, he played very well this week. He's uh, gaining his confidence. He's getting his game speed execution back. Uh, the communication is great. I see he, he and Adrian uh, work together. Having Adrian on the side up really helps him. I think they make the calls together. Uh, Ed is very tough and very physical. He's doing well. What are your thoughts on Adrian McGee's shift over to left tackle? It's not usually something you see. Proud of him. Proud of him. Like I said, I remember Adrian on scout team. And uh, when Adrian's come along, he's matured on and off the field. Uh, he's been a key. The offensive line this year, especially you know, having to play left guard and left tackle, not giving up many sacks, uh, being very physical, very proud. Of him. Was he a little nicked up this week? He had yellow jersey yes. on. Yes, he's a little so nicked a... up, but he should be fine. That's that's a sign of maturity for Adrian, uh, fighting through some minor injuries and still playing. You, you've talked about Michael Davini already this week, but I mean, what was the process like? I guess of him coming back. No. Coach, can you speak on how good Joe has been in the pocket this year? Yeah. Just his presence overall. You know, we're talking about that today. Uh, you, know, you know, I spent one year in the Saints with Drew Brees. I'm not saying he's Drew Brees or nothing like that, but that was one of Drew's best qualities, was his pocket presence and his footwork. I remember Drew uh, contributing to playing tennis when he was young with his eyes and his hands and his feet down there. Joe was a great athlete, make plays with his in space. 
I think it's been a decided factor in some of the games. He's run away from some pressure and made some big plays down the field. Did he have that sort of presence when he got here, or has he developed that? I think, I think he probably had it, but I think he's developed a little bit more within the scheme of this offense and more or less knowing his receivers, when to break off the routes, when not to break off the routes. And we made some big plays by Miles Scrambles. Miles Brennan's obviously gained weight, things like that, but just compare him to last year, just as an overall as a quarterback, obviously. Night developed. day. Night day, as far as his confidence. Uh, Miles always had a, a strong arm, his pocket presence, uh, studying football, knowing the offense. Uh, his leadership that started in the fourth quarter last year, I remember him breaking down the team for the first time, screaming. Today, somebody was late in the huddle. He got, he got on him. I think that you sort of show the signs of maturity and that he's ready to take this quarterback position next year in Rumble. When he's more comfortable in an offense like this, it's him as well. That's what he played in high school and stuff like that. And he can run the football. And he can extend plays with his feet. And he's very smart. You know, that when going into the Alabama game, talking about the offensive line and having to win there, and that seemed like the big test for them. It looks like they've passed in the past couple of weeks. Yeah. Like you called them the MVPs and things like yeah. that. How how essential are they yeah. to the team and uh, in the offense itself? Yo, know, very essential at the beginning of the year. We said, you know, the camp that we have to improve on the offensive line. I believe they're the most improved group. They're the most improved group in camp. We saw it and has been throughout the season. Uh, as they go, we go. I mean, if we can't protect Joe, we can't get the ball down the field, we can't run. So they're making the lanes for the running lanes. They're blocking for Joe. I think they're very instrumental in what we're doing. Coach, I know recently Clyde's been getting a lot of love, and deservingly so. Uh, and you always talk about uh, his stature, but he's 6'4", yeah. whatever, 200 pounds when he walks in the room. Do you remember when you first started recruiting him and, like, why you guys thought he would fit compared to others that didn't? We, um, I saw him on film and it reminded me of Maurice Jones Drew. I don't know if you guys remember him. An excellent player, his size, hard to tackle. I had to go against him. So I tried to recruit him, and uh, that's, that's what Clyde reminded me of. He's become like that. I think he's that type of back. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks,